Okay guys, so uh, we haven't been on for a while, but we've not done many fitting videos recently, so we thought we'd change it up a little bit. So obviously we normally have, we had the dual AG spoiler on this car, but we're going to change it up because we've just got the adjustable G-wing in, as you can see there. So we've masked up all the car and uh, we've got a mini one spoiler put on there. We've even had the roof wrapped in anthracite so it all matches. So we're just going to go ahead now and show you how it fits. Okay guys, so we've placed it in there, you can see. What we've done is we've got, come round there, we've got this gap here, the same all the way across obviously. So what we're going to do now is, so I've mass, obviously put all this masking on just so we can get some marks on there. So basically the side's going to go there and also the bottom is going to go there. And we're going to do this on both sides. that line and then that line there so that's going straight down there so obviously now we can have a mess and we can take this apart I'll show you it's just basically four bolts under here and there's the adjustable bit there so you can have it whichever you prefer but obviously the main thing is getting these side bits on first so now we've got a mark we can take that off and we can start putting the sides on Okay guys, so uh, we've marked that up as you can see, we've got it on this line up here that we made before, so that's all in line, and we've locked it in as best we can. So all we're going to do is now is poke that through there, and obviously get a mark for the rift nut. Which is there. Okay guys, so this is the tool that you need to get to fit these, uh, if you get in a garage to do it, most places will have one of these, we've bought it specifically obviously to do this job. Now you can see up here, we've marked the two holes, and what you do is you put in what's called a rib nut, which is basically these little things. So you drill the hole, you put that in, you then clamp it in, so this squeezes together, and that gives you then a bolt to bolt the spoiler too, so obviously you can take it off at a further date. Okay guys, so I'm not going to video this bit while I'm actually drilling, because you won't be able to wear anything. So you can see there, we're just going to drill dead square with these two holes, and then we'll show you how to insert the rib nuts. Okay guys, so we've got these holes drilled now, and we've tested that these slide in nicely there. So you can see on the riv nut gun, obviously the rivet goes on there and then we're going to squeeze it and it pulls this together basically so we've got a bolt hole. So you've got to make sure, put plenty of pressure on there and that strut's good and then you're just basically going to clamp it together there. And then you unscrew that. very slow job <laughs> oh it's gone tight And there you can see we've got a perfect bolt to bolt it into. Okay guys, so obviously you've seen how we did that side, we're just going to do the same on this side. So again, I won't long wind it out, but just mark, drill, rev nut. Okay guys, so we've put them bolts in and we've left everything loose obviously so we can just slide this in between. So what we do basically is do everything loose and then obviously adjust everything where you need to. So we'll just bolt this in now and then we'll come back to you in a minute. Okay guys, so there you go, all on. As you can see, we just need to tighten everything up. We can just get, like I say, if you do everything loose to begin with, and then obviously at the end you can nip everything up. Uh, we'll take all the masking off and mess about, and then we'll give you a finished view. Okay guys, so you saw it all completed and on, and obviously we noticed a little bit of discrepancies here and there. So you can see when that goes on there, and it's all up, you can see that tucked around. Now in this corner here, there, it was a little bit of a lump so it was sat like that basically and it weren't sitting quite correctly right now if you look down there I've just filed the little bit of a moulding off there 
So if you've got any tweaks like that up here or down there and you can feel where it goes and it's touching something. So basically on your final fit, you know, line that up with your holes and just pull it round and just make sure it's just fitting perfectly there. So like I say, there might be a bit of where you need to file a bit just to get that perfectly straight on there. And then obviously there, you can see it doesn't fit perfectly. So what I'm gonna put on there is, before I tighten it up, I'm just gonna put a washer or a spacer, should I say, on there, just so it doesn't pull in and, and stretch the carbon, then it's gonna bolt straight to that. Okay guys, so there it is, it's all on, dead sturdy, as you can see. Now, the manufacturer recommends that you remove these triangle bits here. Now, obviously, because I was messing with it and trying to do a fitting video for you guys, I've took it all back off and I've managed to get it to fit with those. Now, I've had to shave the back of the spoiler and file all sorts off, so obviously, if you're not confident doing that, these must be, it must be fitted without these triangular bits. So obviously there it is, you can find these on our website www.killochrome.com Thanks for liking, subscribing, sharing etc.